Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorials. Today we're gonna talk about Leonardo AI for beginners. It's a step by step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in, which is a website similar to Midjourney, where you can create an AI or artificial intelligence pictures. But this website has even more features than Midjourney, and it's my favorite here. So the first step, to go into the website, you need to create an account, click in here, and click on yes, I'm waitlisted, and then you can log in with your Google account. In my case, I just logged in, so there is no need to log in once again. And this is the main page of the website. And all of these are features, or better say, these are the styles that you can do using this website, Leonardo AI, as you can see here in this page. So all of these are examples. In these, what you can do with the website of Leonardo AI. And if you click on any picture, for example, if you click on this one here, as you can see, this is the picture prompt. And here we got the details of the picture, as you can see over here. For example, the input resolution, this one. In the created history, when was this picture created? And all the information and details of the picture will be here in this section. And here, if you can click on future models, once you click on it, you can see all the models and all the styles that AI could introduce for you or can help you with and support, such as, for example, RPG and BBI, and V means virgin, and this one for Leonardo, and a lot of them, also pixel art. And for example, if you click on one of these, such as this one, for example, and choose generate model, you'll create the same picture as this one. And also, as you can see these, these are the same style in the model of this picture. One more thing to talk about is the subscriptions and the memberships. So if we click here to check our memberships on the app or the website, you can see that we have four types of subscriptions, one for free, other for $10, $24, or even $48 a month. And each subscription of these has special features. So for example, the free membership, you can make up to 150 pictures a day. And the $10, up to 8,500 per month. The $24, 25,000 per month. And lastly, the $48, up to 60,000 pictures per month. So let's go and try to create a new one. Let's go and click on this, this type. For example, I like this one. So let's click on it. And then here, we're going to click on this button, as you can see. And then here, we're going to put our prompt that we're going to use in order to create a picture or generate an AI picture. As you can see, this is the prompt. And this button is the negative prompt button. You can toggle this option on or off as you like. You can toggle it. And then if we zoom in here in this section, as you can see, these are the number of the images. And the more images we use, it's going to deduct our tokens. So for more pictures, or more tokens in use and these are extra information or extra options to your picture for example the prompt magic and alchemy as well you can change this one and this is the input dimensions you can switch between these we're going to put in this one for example and then once you adjust all these settings you're going to click here on generate to see your picture and this is the final result as you can see here, these pictures are my results. An evil cat with hoodie using the hacker style in the background. And it seems like a real picture, although it's used by AI. That's another picture here, and the same style. And also it seems like a real picture. And if you'd like to make an edit, just come here in this section and post a new edit. So for example, surrounded by computer setup, and click on the right. And as you can see, these are the pictures after the edits, and it seems like a real picture by the computer set up in the background. To be honest, I like this website so much. So these are before and these are after. All of these are samples. And also if you click on any picture, you're gonna see all the buttons and the options of the picture, such as move background, download, or even copy the clipboard. So all of these are extra tools or even extra options that you can use in order to help you with your design and your picture. While browsing, for example, if you've seen a picture that we like, for example, let's check for this one, 
here i'm going to click on it and then as you can see in the picture we click on this option once we click on this option we're going to see the description or the prompt and the codes that are used for this picture all of them and then if we click on generate we're going to see an identical typical pictures of it 100 percent the same it's the same style the same colors and all of these things another option or feature in the website for example if you like this picture here then you're gonna copy the description here right click copy and then we'll go to uh, oh, wait a second we'll go to this option it says ai canvas we'll click on it we will be directed here to this page and then you can adjust the picture size and all of these things together and then you're going to take this box in a second you're going to put it here of the picture and then you're going to put the same description that you got a few minutes ago and then you will go here and click on generate you'll have four options to switch between all of these four options you can choose one of them and then you can agree on the changes if that can help you by click or by create a new picture in the same one and also if there was an object that you don't like in the picture you can click here and then you can go to this object for example this one and you can draw over the object itself as you can see and then you'll take the square spot it over the object and adjust uh, you know the size of the square itself and then choose generate also you'll have four options to switch between and you can change the object according to these four options as you can see over here and if you like to create a merge between two pictures you can take one of them and also this one on the other side and use the square in the middle between them and here you click on generate and as you can see we have a picture or two pictures here and then the pictures are similar and then we're going to move the square once again and click on generate and that's like an art right we can see these two pictures looks like a one and this is magnificent what you can do with the amount of ai i suppose that we reviewed all the features and all the options that you can use here in this website and leonardo ai such as subscriptions and memberships ai canvas also emerge for pictures and using the prompt and how many tokens and pictures you can use per day and that was all today's video, thank you so much for watching the video until the end. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also you can take a look at the channel to see and watch more tutorials. And also don't forget to leave us a comment down below in the comment section. And thanks for watching, have a good day.